What's wrong, Toonie girl? She was shaking and shivering. Okay, hello. I have you in a precarious position. Hopefully my camera doesn't fall. It's Saturday afternoon. Grant is actually at work and I'm just about to do my hair. I was just on my phone. Well, I wasn't on my phone, but I was watching Married at First Sight on Netflix on my phone while I was doing my makeup and I don't know what happened. I wasn't doing anything weird with my phone. I wasn't even like interacting with it. It was just like playing the show and now it's unresponsive. I was trying to open different apps, trying to open my texts and nothing. It was just not working with me. And also my first instinct, of course, is just like unplug it, replug it. That usually works with everything somehow. And I can't even turn it off. So don't know what's going on there. Don't know what I'm gonna do about that. It's kind of frustrating because I wanted to put something on my story, but whatever, I guess I'll deal with that later. Right now we're gonna do some hair. I'm gonna use my waiver. This is the waiver I've been using lately. I have another one, but I definitely like this one better. And I have decided this is like my stay at home, like quarantine hair. Like I kind of hate using the word quarantine, but that's just what everyone says. Like that's the word everyone's using for it. It kind of doesn't make sense to me, but it's my quarantine hair. I like using the waiver, but I use it like very lightly. And I like to compare it to like an 80s, 90s Barbie that's been in the bath too many times. That's what it looks like to me. And for whatever reason, that's a look I like. That's a look that I feel works for me. So we're gonna go for it. I washed my hair yesterday. I put a little dry shampoo in it last night because our power went out last night. Like, I don't know. Are we having bad luck right now? Maybe. Okay, no, I did not say that. We're not having bad luck because my phone is gonna magically fix itself and everything will be okay. <laughs> okay, so if you've never seen me use this waiver before, I will link it down below if you wanna check it out. It's super easy to use and the way I use it lately is just the most minor clamp. I don't leave it clamped for very long at all. It can give you like a very extreme kind of crimpy wave which that's a look, that's fine. If that's what you want, that's what you want. But lately I've just been doing it really, really gently and lightly and not leaving it in the clamp very long at all. You can also flip it around like this where the more flat plate is on top and that creates a slightly different look too. I don't know if I'm showing you anything. Looks like this. <laughs> oh, also, if you missed the vlog where I talked about this window situation, I'm not gonna repeat the whole story, but I mean, if you wanna, copy my very creative window dressing you're welcome to we actually talked to somebody about putting a film on that window for privacy and we kind of went back and forth a few times but obviously we haven't had anything installed so it's still my handiwork one of the turkish towels pinned up with thumbtacks so i did section my hair off but i feel like it is key to do it pretty much as haphazardly as possible. Well, if you want the same kind of look that I have, the like Barbie from the bath kind of look, because otherwise it's gonna be a very, very uniform shape. So some sections I will actually leave it longer in the clamp to get a more exaggerated wave, but others not so much, just to mix it up. You know what I mean? Am I explaining this a little too much? Most likely. Okay, while I work on this, I got my iPad out so I can continue watching Married at First Sight. <laughs> nothing will stop me. I do feel like this show, well, obviously it's not like a good show. It's not enriching my life in any way. I'm not really learning anything, but I feel like this show isn't fake. Obviously some of the reality show elements are fake, but I feel like the relationships are real. Like so far in this season, I think it's the ninth season, I haven't seen a huge amount of conflict, which is surprising because in past seasons, which I've watched quite a few, but there's been quite a bit of conflict and I feel like these couples are getting along so much better. So I do feel like there's a good bit of actual reality in it. I mean, it's still like garbage reality, but obviously I'm into it. La I just try to understand your perspective on marriage more than anything. Just kidding. We got some drama. All right, obviously done with waving my hair. I don't brush it out or anything like that. I feel like that would make it really, really frizzy, but I have been doing the side part whenever I use my waver, which is a nice change of pace, especially with the amount of roots I've got going on here 
and I feel like I've mentioned this in the vlog but maybe I haven't I got a question recently about my hair and the comment was like your hair looks so good how are you maintaining your color through this time it's like staying home and I haven't been <laughs> obviously well I think it's obvious but maybe it's not obvious to everyone I haven't been getting my hair colored I haven't been doing anything to the color however I do have plans to do something with the color and I'm thinking about making that a video but for now I feel like parting it on the side using the waiver just a bit I feel like that works with the roots like I the roots no longer bother me like I feel like coming out of this a lot of us are going to learn that we can actually go much 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 longer without curling our hair there's like that one pain point and once you get past that it doesn't matter anymore anyone else feeling that is it just me probably not i don't think it is it's just like a crazy transformation is it not i feel like i look completely different with this hair compared to just my regular straight hair i love my straight hair i feel like it looks really good i feel like it suits me but at the same time this is just like such a change of pace and i love it i've been loving it especially lately so decided to share let's move on with our lives all right, it is snack time over here. I had a really late breakfast, so I'm not super hungry, but this is the favorite snack lately. These are Parmesan cheese crisps, wisps. There are other flavors. I haven't tried any of the other flavors, but I really, really want to because I bet they're amazing. These are basically like chips, but they're just made out of cheese, which I guess is kind of like a keto thing. I'm not doing keto. These are just really, really tasty. What are you doing, baby? Are you doing keto? I think Luna's doing keto. Wisps and guacamole, so good. These are just like little single pack guacamoles. I can eat guacamole every single day. I actually really like the spicy ones a lot better, but these are just the regular holy guacamoles. Just FaceTime with Grant on my computer. He's been at work for only a couple hours, but I just like texted him from my laptop telling him that my phone wasn't working. And then I Googled some fixes. I got my phone back in working order. We're okay. I don't really know what happened to it. I think I just like overwhelmed my phone. I don't know. I'm going to go back to watching my show. Really, uh... Okay. So for this afternoon, I was planning on working on my plants, repotting, treating all the normal plant drama. But for whatever reason, I just do not feel like doing that. Plant drama is what Grant calls it, and somehow I have an endless supply of plant drama in my life. Oh, I do wanna update you guys. So the fungus sad. The issue that I was telling you guys about last weekend and the weekend before, I do feel like all the recommendations, all the different treatments that I've done so far are definitely helping. So what I really should be doing right now is working on my plants, maintaining my plant drama, but what we're gonna do is do a little Target haul. There are a couple of sales in the past week that I indulged in. There was like a buy one, get one free women's sandals and then $12 shorts. And of course that just like led me down a road and I got a few more things from Target. Like even if you were not shopping physically in a Target, it still gets you, or at least it still gets me. So I got a few pairs of shorts, a couple of tops, I don't know how that happened, and then a couple of pairs of sandals. So I'm gonna show you everything. I'm not sure if these sales are still gonna be going on by the time I post this video, but if you're curious, I will get the links to everything I got and put it in the description. You can check it out. And I haven't tried everything on, so I just wanted to do it now with you guys. That's just what sounds like fun to me. Plants. I can do plants later. Okay, so I was just getting everything out of the box, the shorts, the tops, and everything so I could try them on, but then these shorts snuck into this box. I got these from Amazon the other day, and I actually just thought they were like off-white, comfy shorts, just wear around the house shorts, and then when I opened them, I realized they are actually like funfetti material. Do you see the rainbow? They are so cute and they are so, so comfy and cozy. Like not to the point where I think you'd be hot if you wore them in the summer, but they're just the softest material. They've got pockets, cute little drawstring. Oh, I think I hear Grant. But these shorts are basically an emergency. Like I screamed when I saw them, <laughs> really just because I was so surprised that it was this material and not just a basic off-white. These are just so cute. I'll link these too. Hello. Uh-oh, my life has just been upgraded. Grant brought this home for me and I'm very happy because I have a recipe that I really wanna do later. I'll show you everything. It's kind of like worlds colliding. It was sent to me on Instagram. I definitely need to make it happen, but it called for a standing mixer and I don't have a standing mixer and I'm not really ready to spend like $300 on something that it's gonna be a pain to store and I don't know how much I'm gonna use it. So hopefully this can make the same thing happen 
I feel like it should be able to make the same thing happen. So I got this, we'll see how it works later. <laughs> that awkward walk when your sandals are still connected by elastic. <laughs> okay, I did not buy all of these things to become an outfit, but I just figured it'd be quicker and easier to show you everything if I was wearing it all at once. So for the sandals, these are really cute leopard bow sandals. I'm not really giving you a super close up because a pedicure is in need at the moment. <laughs> for some reason, I can do my nails just fine, but when it comes to the pedicure part, it's just, what are you doing, Luna? <laughs> What are we doing? She loves to drag this pillow all over. It's like five times her size. What are you doing, Lou? <laughs> Just lick my leg at random. It's a good bean. Okay, I'm letting myself get distracted. Next are these shorts. I got these for $12. Again, I don't know if they're still gonna be $12, but I feel like that was a steal. They're so comfortable. I love a super light wash like this. I love buttons up the front and they're just really comfortable. They have a nice stretch to them and they're a nice length. And I don't think I have any shorts that have a frayed edge like this. So these are really cool. And actually, I think I just realized both of the pairs of shorts that I got are the same. They're just different colors. So obviously I'm into this style. Now this top is questionable. I feel like it either sat wrong in the box or I don't know, I need to look back at the product image to see how these ruffles are supposed to sit because I feel like it's very, very awkward to have it like coming at me like that. And I'm not sure if it fits right. Like it's a little loose down here, but it fits really great up here. So I just need to go back to the site and see. And the back of it looks like this. But overall, I do feel like this shirt is very me. I love the big puffy sleeves. I love the ruffles. I love the bow. Just everything about it screams me but I don't know, can't decide if it's working, which I feel like means it's a no. Okay, now for another outfit that is not an outfit. These shorts, they are the same, but they're more of a mustard color. And for whatever reason, they fit a little bit bigger around the waist. They have a few different artist t-shirts like this. I have this one bunched up because it's a really, really boxy fit. And I felt like it was cuter like that, but I think it would be cuter with like a more high-waisted bottom. And then these shoes, <laughs> these are a little questionable. Whenever they actually came in, I was like, what were you thinking? But I think they're growing on me. I mean, are we tolerating like a toe ring sandal? I'm not sure, but let me know in the comments. All right, it's dinner time and I switched into my super comfy Funfetti shorts. Really can't say enough good things. <laughs> and I'm about to make Jessica Braun's smesme, <laughs> sesame beef tacos. I've made these on my vlog before. We fell in love with this recipe. If you haven't tried it, it's definitely worth it. I'll link it. <laughs> tacos I tell myself I'm gonna order some of those little taco holder tray things and I always forget they're just so fluffy tacos are ready honestly I wanted to make this recipe like 10 minutes after the first time I made it last time. <laughs> okay, the tacos were really really good as expected and now I'm setting up all my ingredients to make waffle cookies. I kind of feel like this is the perfect recipe for me to try right now and it's actually sent to me by one of you guys. Brogan on Instagram DM'd me this recipe a few days ago in the last week and I knew I had to try it because as you guys know, chocolate chip cookies, that is what we're doing right now. We're thinking positive, we're eating cookies, but I've also really been on a waffle kick and so I feel like those two things combined we cannot go wrong. So I pulled out the big waffle maker, I got a new hand mixer, and we're gonna try this. Okay, so for this recipe, you start by making the glaze, and then you make the cookie batter, and you put that in the waffle maker, then you dip it in the glaze. has 
come to observe. I think this is light and fluffy. I don't know. I'm seeing a chunk of butter in here. Oh well. Chunk of butter never hurt nobody. Now we're adding our eggs and our vanilla. <laughs> Question mark? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is done. Oh no, it went in the batter. Give me a, give me, give me something. Like a something. Oh no. Guinea pig round. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so now what you're supposed to do, Grant has decided to help me. You get your finished cookie and while it's still warm, you dip it in the glaze. Why did it just sizzle? And then you put it on a wire drying rack. We don't have a wire drying rack, so we pulled this out of the oven. It's just gonna have to work for now. These definitely got a little too crispy, I think, but hopefully they're still good. And then you go in and you sprinkle chocolate chips. Not quite as pretty as the picture, but maybe I'll get there. I've got like, I think five more batches to go, or like 20, I don't even know. This could take a while. Looks good. I think I'm getting a little bit better as I go. Okay, I'm finally done with the last batch of waffle cookies. I'm not gonna lie, this took me kind of a long time, but I think it's gonna be worth it. I'm gonna wait for them to fully cool down before we have some, and I think we're gonna watch The Sopranos. Oh, you some guy. Now call All right, I think we're ready. Are you ready? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Grant's signature song Duh. for every occasion. Let's go. Are you gonna go for the baby? Mmm. You like it? A plus. Is it's a crazy combination. I like it. The only thing maybe I would change about the recipe is add more chocolate chips. And I don't know if that would throw it off. It's just like I wish I was tasting more chocolate. Butterscotch chips. Or butterscotch chips. <laughs> We loved the butterscotch chips and the waffles that I made last weekend. Died for them. They were so good. I really did not fully expect to love them as much as I did. I love when you guys send me recipes. Thank you so much for all the recommendations. My shorts are looking real cool right now. <laughs> My fitters. <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> All right, guys, right, we got trouble right here in River City. Okay, so it's Sunday, but it's been a very weird Sunday. We had kind of just a lazy morning and then Grant had to go in, but then a bunch of stuff popped up and he's had to stay way longer than he anticipated. And so I decided to kind of switch my plans and start editing this vlog today instead of tomorrow because tomorrow's a holiday and Grant's actually not gonna have to work tomorrow. Well, he's gonna have to work a little bit, but probably not as much as he's had to work today. So I decided to utilize the time so we could actually spend time together tomorrow and start editing. I usually do a lot of my editing on Monday Monday and Tuesday. Well, depending on how many vlogs I'm actually putting out. And lately I've been putting out two vlogs a week, which is kind of crazy. And it's definitely a whole lot more work. And I feel like you guys have been enjoying it too. I don't think this week is going to be a two part vlog just because of the holiday and everything. But all I'm trying to say is a lot of the day passed me by because I was editing and it's just been rainy and gloomy. But even though it's been raining, we do still have some sun and I'm going to go outside and work on my plants. I told you guys yesterday, I've got some plant drama. And really the only drama here is that I've been a very 
bad plant mom. A very bad plant mama. And I feel like I'm usually pretty proactive and trying to learn and trying to figure out what I can do for them. But I was pretty discouraged about the whole fungus gnat situation. And so I just wanted to slow down on bringing on any new plants or repotting or potting my clippings, which I've had these for so long and they have monster roots on them, which I know is not a good thing. You're supposed to pot your cuttings once they have like, I think two inches. I think that's what most people say. And some of these have like almost a foot long roots, which is not great. And I know that gives them a lower likelihood of actually like thriving once you repot them into soil. Actually, it's kind of crazy. A lot of these are getting new leaves, which I don't know if that's normal. It could be totally normal. And since I'm new at this, I'm just amazed. But look, we have two new leaves sprouting up out of the water. If this camera would focus, wow, my life would be good. These are in desperate need of water, but you can see these have two leaves sprouting up about to open. And then this one right here, we have a new leaf just about to open. Okay, you get the picture. I won't show you every single one that has a new leaf, but I'm really impressed that they're just like thriving in water and I really have not been taking care of them the way that I should. And I know I should have repotted them before, but I feel like I might still have a good chance because while some of these have really long roots coming out, there are still some smaller roots also coming down that are only like an inch or two inches long. So maybe even if those longer roots maybe don't do well, maybe the shorter roots will save me. That might not be rooted in any logic that exists in the plant world, but it's what I made up in my head and that's what we're gonna go with. You guys know I am not an expert on any level. I'm just over here trying my best and this totally might not work. I might have completely made a mistake here, but we are gonna be positive and hopefully these little plant babies can make the transition and thrive in some soil. I have two of these small pots that I'm gonna use. I feel like one of the mistakes that I've made a few times now is using containers that are too large for the plant. And I've got a bunch of cuttings here. So I've got two of these and we're just gonna see how it goes. I got my assistant over here. She's rather sleepy. Well, she was sleepy. What's wrong, Toonie girl? She was shaking and shivering. Are you okay? You wanna go outside and play? That would be fun. Okay. Come on. Good girl. Okay, I was really, really battling the wind out there. It was quite a challenge. More than once, all the cuttings just blew down the patio, which was not good. Ooh, look who's home. <gasps> a bowl. Did you bring me a present? I did, a surprise. Thank you so much. Awesome. It's yeah, all yeah. I've asked for. Yeah. Thank you. Don't touch me. I'm not touching, I'm not touching. Look, we got two new ladies in the building. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, we just got some BB Bop delivered. I think we both ordered the same thing we ordered last time on the vlog, but I can't get enough. It is so good. Luna is desperate to try it every single time. Desperate. Are you ready to go, Toonie Bean? Have you never been so excited in your whole life? Oh. <laughs> We're gonna go check up on our crimes. Be cool, Luna. Act cool. All right, we're really not seeing anything develop here. <laughs> I don't know if we did something wrong or the soil is wrong or what. I'm ready to blame the, the soil. soil. The soil is wrong. The soil is incorrect. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I don't know what to tell you. All right, so just a quick little update for all of you who watch that vlog and know what I'm talking about. 
It looks like our wildflowers have not come through. We risked our lives. We risked our freedom for these wildflowers and nothing. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop checking. I'm definitely gonna keep checking and hopefully they spring up any day now. I'm really losing hope though. I feel like you haven't been in this vlog at all. It's so sad. I know, I've been a busy old man. I know. So before I go, I didn't really wanna make this vlog like all about the IUI and the fertility treatment again because that was a lot of last weekend, obviously. Um, because right now, really all we can do is just like wait and see. That's literally all we can do actually. Yeah. So I think we're about to maybe have some more waffle cookies. And I really appreciate all of y'all's sweet comments and everyone on Instagram tagging me. It's really, really sweet to hear from you guys. And I appreciate your support so much. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to update, but I didn't want to go the whole vlog and just not talk about it because obviously that was a big moment and it was a big vlog to share. And I don't know, I just wanted to say thank you and then I appreciate you guys. And I hope you guys had a great weekend and I hope you're having a great week, a good holiday, and I hope you subscribe to keep up with the vlogs and the new videos. And thanks, I love you. Bye. Good job. Thank you.